Hello YouTube, I'm going to show you how to make a fully adjustable artist easel. First, the materials that you'll need. You'll need a T-hinge. Make sure that T-hinge is small enough to fit onto your wood. It should come with some screws. Then a 10 millimeter wing nut and a 10 millimeter 3 inch bolt. And then some washers to go onto the bolt. You'll need one one and a half inch dowel and I picked up three three fourths dowels but if I really wanted to, I could get away with only using two. You'll need to pick up several 1x2 pine boards, three 6-foot boards, and two 8-foot boards. You'll need some wood glue. I also picked up some pallets that I'll also be using for this project. To start off, you'll want to cut two 7-foot boards, two 4-foot boards, and one 5-foot board. Alright, what you should have now is your two four foot boards, one five foot board, and your two seven foot boards. Take your two four foot boards and measure one and a half inches up and in the middle of one end, and we will be cutting a three fourths inch hole through the boards. Remember, despite the measurements that I have given you, Test out your dowels. Test them on holes, test your drills, everything. All right? What I have is not exactly what you have, so be safe with it. You don't want to cut uh, any more wood than you have to. All right, like I said, I'm going to be using some glue. So, put a little bit of glue on there. And if you are using glue, make sure you apply it evenly. And get a little bit on both sides. All right, and uh, make sure you do the same to the other side. Also ignore the holes, that was a mistake. Okay, there we go. Alright, once that's done, go ahead and flip it over. Make sure it's lined up correctly. Just make sure that the dowel can fit. Alright, what I'm doing now is I've got my five foot board and I'm going to drill a hole one foot up from the end for my 10 millimeter bolt. Alright, listen closely. I'm going to cut two holes one at the seven inch mark above this five foot board and then I'm going to cut a hole one and a half inches above the hole that I made for my bolt and in these holes I will put two dowels that I'll cut to one and a half inches and do not cut all the way through the board only go about halfway or three-fourths of the way through the board Alright, so I cut out these two inch dowels. I'm going to glue them and screw them into the holes I've made. This is how your adjustable track should fit together. With the wing nut sticking out the back, and the two dowels stuck between the four foot boards. 
All right, now we have the seven foot boards. And what we're gonna do with those is we're gonna have on one side, we're gonna do the same thing we did with the four foot boards. And we're going to drill holes through each one of them. Mark one and a half inches on the seven foot boards. And I'm also going to go ahead and find the midpoint. All right, there you go. So you should have both of the seven foot boards with two holes in them. All right, before I go any further, I'd like to talk about these one by four boards that I cut up this pallet. Um, I cut them to two and a half feet and I sanded them down because these will be sitting on my rugs. So I didn't want rough wood scraping along my rugs. And these will run parallel and form the base of the easel. Alright, so what I'm doing now is I'm marking on each board um, one and a quarter inches up and two inches back on the board. And these will be holes for my dowels. So what you should have is you should have two boards that look just like this. Alright, we're going to start making our main frame of the easel, the front part. Um, to do that, you got to cut out three one foot boards and then cut out one 14 inch board. I'm going to put together two boards, the 14 inch board and the one of the one foot boards. I'm going to put them on top of each other, I'm going to glue them and I'm going to screw them and it's going to sit on top of the easel and the main boards are going to go here and here. Alright, now that this block is glued and screwed together for the top of the easel, I'm going to do the same thing with these two one foot blocks for the middle of the easel. I'm going to first put in the middle support, because that way I can measure the midpoints on the seven foot boards. <laughs> 